Evolution of Tigers, Cats, and Lions Well the cat family is known as Philides and they are further divided into different species which we will see in this video. All species have their own genes which we will show at the end of the species introduction. Proalurus is an extinct felid genus that lived in Europe Asia approximately 25 million years ago in the late Oligocene and Miocene. Fossils have been found in Mongolia, Germany, and Spain. Proalurus lemonensis was a compact and small animal, just a little larger than the domestic cat, weighing about 20 pounds, 9 kilograms. It had a long tail, large eyes, and sharp claws and teeth, with similar proportions to the modern beaverids. Its claws would have been retractable to some extent. Like the Viverids, Proalurus was at least partially arboreal. Proalurus is believed to have evolved from earlier Iluroid carnivorans such as Stenogale and Haplogal. It is a likely ancestor of Sedalurus, which lived 20 to 10 million years ago, and probably gave rise to the major felid lines, including the extinct Macarodontines and the extant felines and Pantherans although the phylogeny of the cats is still not precisely known. Sedalurus is a prehistoric cat that lived in Europe and North America in the Miocene between approximately 20 and 8 million years ago. It is related to today's felines and pantherans as well as the extinct macarodonts, saber-tooths, and is a successor to Proalurus. It originated from Eurasia and was the first cat to reach North America, when it entered the continent at about 18.5 ma ending a cat gap of 7 million years. The slender proportions of the animal, together with its short, bivirid-like legs, suggest that it may have been an agile climber of trees. Sedalurus quadridentatus weighed about 30 kilograms, 66 pounds, and was approximately the size of a cougar. Sedalurus guanghensis from the Middle Miocene of Gansu, China, and Sedalurus cuspidatus from the Middle Miocene of Xinjiang, China, are reported. The cat, Felis catus, is a domestic species of small carnivorous mammal. It is the only domesticated species in the family Felidae and is often referred to as the domestic cat to distinguish it from the wild members of the family. A cat can either be a house cat, a farm cat or a feral cat, the latter ranges freely and avoids human contact. Domestic cats are valued by humans for companionship and their ability to kill rodents. About 60 cat breeds are recognized by various cat registries. The cat is similar in anatomy to the other felid species, it has a strong flexible body, quick reflexes, sharp teeth, and retractable claws adapted to killing small prey. Its night vision and sense of smell are well developed. Cat communication includes vocalizations like meowing, purring, trilling, hissing, growling and grunting as well as cat-specific body language. A predator that is most active at dawn and dusk, crepuscular, the cat is a solitary hunter but a social species. It can hear sounds too faint or too high in frequency for human ears, such as those made by mice and other small mammals. It secretes and perceives pheromones. Puma is a genus in the family Felidae whose only extant species is the cougar, also known as the puma and mountain lion, among other names, and may also include several poorly known old world fossil representatives, for example, Puma partoids, or Owens panther, a large, cougar-like cat of Eurasia's Pliocene. In addition to these potential old world fossils, a few new world fossil representatives are possible, such as Puma pumoides and the two species of the so-called American cheetah, currently classified under the genus Morassinonyx. Pumas are large, secretive cats. They are also commonly known as cougars and mountain lions, and are able to reach larger sizes than some other big cat individuals. Despite their large size, they are thought to be more closely related to smaller feline species. The seven subspecies of pumas all have similar characteristics, but tend to vary in color and size. Pumas are thought to be one of the most adaptable of felines on the American continents, because they are found in a variety of different habitats, 
unlike other various cat species. Asinonyx is a genus within the cat family. The only living species of the genus, the cheetah, Aegilbatus, lives in open grasslands of Africa and Asia. Several fossil remains of cheetah-like cats were excavated that date to the late Pliocene and middle Pleistocene. These cats occurred in Africa, parts of Europe and Asia about 10,000 years ago. Several similar species, classified in the genus Morassinonyx, lived in North America at the same time, these may have been more closely related to the genus Puma. Panthera is a genus within the family Felidae that was named and described by Lawrence Oaken in 1816 who placed all the spotted cats in this group 32 Reginald Innes Pocket revised the classification of this genus in 1916 as comprising the tiger, P. tigris, lion, P. leo, jaguar, P. onca, and leopard, P. pardus, on the basis of common cranial features. Results of genetic analysis indicate that the snow leopard, formerly Uncia Uncia, also belongs to the genus Panthera, P. Uncia, a classification that was accepted by IUCN Red List Assessors in 2008. The tiger, lion, leopard, and jaguar are the only cat species with anatomical structures that enable them to roar. The snow leopard is the only one in this genus that cannot roar. The primary reason for this was formerly assumed to be the incomplete ossification of the hyoid bone. However, new studies show the ability to roar is due to other morphological features, especially of the larynx. Dinophelis is a genus of extinct saber-toothed cats belonging to the tribe Metalurinae. They were widespread in Europe, Asia, Africa, and North America at least 5 million to about 1.2 million years ago, early Pliocene to early Pleistocene. Fossils very similar to Dinophelis from Lathagam range back to the late Miocene, some 8 million years ago. In size they were between a modern leopard and a lion, with most about the size of a jaguar, 70 cm tall and up to 120 kg. They were medium-sized but powerful cats with a pair of prominent saber teeth. The front limbs were particularly robust compared to modern cats, even the jaguar. The canine teeth of Dinophelis are longer and more flattened than those of modern cats but less than those of true saber tooths, hence the designation of Dinophelis and Nimravids as false saber tooth cats. However, Nimravids are not close relatives of Dinophelis. While the lower canines are robust, the cheek teeth are not nearly as robust as those of the lion and other modern big cats. Paramacherotus is an extinct genus of saber-tooth cat of the subfamily Macarodontini, which was endemic to Europe and Asia during the late Miocene from 15 to 9 Ma. Paramacherotus is one of the oldest known true saber-toothed cats. Many fossils were discovered in Cerro de los Batalones, a late Miocene fossil site near Madrid, Spain. One leopard-sized species is known, Paramacherotus orientalis from the Turolien. A second species, Paramacherotus maximiliani, has been considered a synonym of Paramacherotus orientalis by some authors, but was considered a valid species in the most recent systematic revision. That revision, based on an extensive morphological analysis, also determined that the species P. ogygia exhibited less derived saber tooth features than the other Paramacherotus species and should be assigned to a separate genus, Promegantarian. A third species, Paramacherotus transasiaticus, has recently been described based on analysis of new fossil material from the late Miocene localities of Hejin, Gansu Province, China, and Hajidimovo, Bulgaria. These specimens had saber-tooth characteristics intermediate between those of P. ogygia and those of P. orientalis and P. maximiliani. The animals were about 58 cm high at the shoulder, similar to a leopard, but with a more supple body. The shape of its limbs suggests that it may have been an agile climber, and could have hunted relatively large prey. Smilodon is a genus of the extinct Macarodont subfamily of the Felids. 
It is one of the most famous prehistoric mammals and the best known saber toothed cat. Although commonly known as the saber toothed tiger, it was not closely related to the tiger or other modern cats. Smilodon lived in the Americas during the Pleistocene epoch, 2.5 Maya 10,000 years ago. The genus was named in 1842 based on fossils from Brazil, the generic name means scalpel or two-edged knife combined with tooth. Three species are recognized today, S. gracilis, S. fatalis, and S. populator. The two latter species were probably descended from S. gracilis, which itself probably evolved from Megantarian. The hundreds of individuals obtained from the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles constitute the largest collection of Smilodon fossils. Overall, Smilodon was more robustly built than any extant cat, with particularly well developed forelimbs and exceptionally long upper canine teeth. Its jaw had a bigger gape than that of modern cats, and its upper canines were slender and fragile, being adapted for precision killing. S. gracilis was the smallest species at 55 to 100 kilograms, 120 to 220 pounds, in weight. S. fatalis had a weight of 160 to 280 kilograms, 350 to 620 pounds, and height of 100 centimeters, 39 in. Smilodon is a genus of the extinct Macarodon subfamily of the Felids. It is one of the most famous prehistoric mammals and the best known saber toothed cat. Although commonly known as the saber toothed tiger, it was not closely related to the tiger or other modern cats. Smilodon lived in the Americas during the Pleistocene epoch, 2.5 Maya 10,000 years ago. The genus was named in 1842 based on fossils from Brazil. The generic name means scalpel or two-edged knife combined with tooth. Three species are recognized today, S. gracilis, S. fatalis, and S. populator. The two latter species were probably descended from S. gracilis, which itself probably evolved from Megantarian. The hundreds of individuals obtained from the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles constitute the largest collection of Smilodon fossils. Overall, Smilodon was more robustly built than any extant cat, with particularly well-developed forelimbs and exceptionally long upper canine teeth. Its jaw had a bigger gape than that of modern cats, and its upper canines were slender and fragile, being adapted for precision killing. S. gracilis was the smallest species at 55 to 100 kg, 120 to 220 pounds, in weight. S. fatalis had a weight of 160 to 280 kilograms, 350 to 620 pounds, and height of 100 centimeters, 39 in. Macarodus is a genus of large macarodontine saber-toothed cats that lived in Africa, Eurasia, and North America during the late Miocene. It is the animal from which the subfamily Macarodontini gets its name and has since become a wastebasket taxon over the years as many genera of saber-toothed cat have been and are still occasionally lumped into it. In general Macarodus was similar in size to a modern lion or tiger, at 2 m, 6.6 feet, long and standing about 1 m, 3.3 feet, at the shoulder. M. Afinistus from the Mediterranean late Miocene is known to be rather tiger-like in size and skeletal proportions with a mass of 100 kg, 220 pounds, to 240 kg, 530 pounds. It was similar to the related Nimravides of North America. The skeleton also indicates that this species would have possessed good jumping abilities for Homotherium, also known as the scimitar toothed cat or scimitar cat is an extinct genus of Macarodontine saber-toothed cats, often termed scimitar-toothed cats, that inhabited North America, South America, Eurasia, and Africa during the Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs, 4 Maya 12,000 years ago, existing for approximately 4 million years. It became extinct in Africa some 1.5 million years ago. The most recent Eurasian remains, recovered from what is now the North Sea, have been dated to around 28,000 years BP. 
In South America it is only known from a few remains in the northern region, Venezuela, from the mid-Pleistocene. The name Homotherium, Greek, Mu, Homos, Same, and Theta Etero Omicron Nu, Therian, Beast, was proposed by Emilio Fabrini, 1890, without further explanation, for a new subgenus of Macarotus whose main distinguishing feature was the presence of a large diastema between the two inferior premolars.